Hey guys, in this video, I have the N2 Elite, also known as the Amico. So this is essentially an amiibo emulator that can allow you to store up to 200 of your own amiibos. And you can use it with any Nintendo system uh, that has an ami amiibo reader built in like the Nintendo Switch, the Wii U, or the newer 3DS and 2DS. And it's useful if you're like say going on a trip and you don't want to carry a whole bunch of amiibos with you and all you have to do is load them up on this N2 Elite device which is basically like the size of a poker chip and then you can just tap it on your device and then basically to switch between the amiibos you hold down the um, this little button here on the, the N2 Elite. So if some of your Amiibos are in storage or they're maybe in a different location, like maybe you have some at work or some at home, it's nice to be able to have them backed up and then basically accessible everywhere by with via this N2 Elite um, device. In this video, I'll show you how to back up your Amiibos and load it to the N2 Elite with a, an, an NFC compatible Android device. So not all phones have NFC and a really quick way to check if your device does have an NFC is just to go into the settings and then seeing there's an option to enable or disable it. Now iPhones, even though they have NFC, they are not supported at the time of this video because there's really no app for it. And uh, if you don't have a NFC compatible smartphone, uh, Android device, you can also buy the USB reader for Mac or PC and uh, which allows you to basically hook it up to your computer and then you run some software on the computer and then use the reader to to back up your Amiibos and then load them to the N2 Elite. I prefer using a smartphone because I can easily reload them reload my Amiibo backups even when I'm not at a PC so if you're traveling or whatnot and you have say you know a dozen or so of your Amiibos backed up to the, the your smartphone it's much easier to just load them with the smartphone than it is to plug it up to a laptop or a computer. So before we start backing up your Amiibos or loading them to the N2 Elite the very first thing you want to do is create a folder on your Android device so you can use ES File Explorer or the built-in file explorers. Uh, I'm just going to use the built-in one, which is a file manager. And you want to create a folder just to keep things organized. You don't have to, but personally for me, I do that. And what I do is I just create a new folder and I'm just going to name it Amiibo and go OK. So this is where you're going to dump your Amiibos and this is where you're also going to put your bin files for your Amiibos. So after you do that, the next thing you want to do is go to the N2 Elite website and download their N2 Elite application. So it's essentially just an APK file that you run and then it'll install it on your Android device. So after you download and install the application, you can then run the N2 Elite app. And as you can see, there's really nothing on the screen other than the logo. So next we're going to configure the N2 Elite settings. So what you want to do is tap it on the back of your phone and you can see that it's found one N2 Elite with one slot and number one slot selected. So the very first thing is we're gonna go into settings and then we're gonna change the restore and dump folder to the folder that we just created in the file manager. So you wanna hit, you can see that it says Amiibo. So have that selected, go select. Also with the dump folder. The dump folder is where you're going to basically dump your Amiibo bin files to. So after you've done that, uh, that's we now that we've set the file location, we can set the bank counts and manage the banks, etc. So a bank count is how many slots or how many memory slots or how many amiibos you plan to hold. So by default, I believe it's just one. So if we change that to say six, that means that you can load up to six amiibos. So it says here, tap N2 Elite to update the bank count. So what you want to do is remove the, the uh, N2 Elite and then just put it back onto the back of your NFC reader. And then now it says bank count updated. So if you go into the manage banks, you can see now there's six, six slots where you can, and they're all empty. Now you can load up to six Amiibos. So if we go back and let's say we wanted to set the bank count to um, 12. We go okay again you take your your uh, every time you make a change you have to tap the, your NFC your uh, N2 Elite onto the back of your phone so then we put it on the back of your phone 
and it says updated. And now you can see that there are 12 slots now. You can load up to 12 Amiibos. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna put the N N2 Elite down. And the very first thing we're gonna do is back up this Kirby Amiibo to show you how that works. So what you wanna do is put it on the back of your phone and it should say it's Reddit. So it says found. So you hit dump and it says scan to dump. And then what you wanna do is you wanna tap your Amiibo on the back of the phone again. Make sure you hold it there and then it will ask you where, where you want, uh, what you want to name it. So just say, I just usually keep the default and hit save. And it says successfully dumped and end tag to Kirby. So that file is successfully backed up to the folder, which we set in the beginning of the video. So now what you want to do is we want to write it to this uh, end to elite. So what you want to do now is just again, tap the back of this back of your phone and then go to manage banks and then select an empty slot where you want to load Kirby. So we're going to hit here and as you can see it's there. The file is there so we're going to select that and go select and then what you want to do is take your NFC and then tap it again on the top back of your phone and it says successfully written. Now if you go to manage banks you can see Kirby's there. So if you have a whole bunch of other amiibos, you can back them up and then load them into the various slots. So I'm going to show you another example. Let's say we're going to load another amiibo. You tap that. I, I only have Kirby right now, but you would select that and then you would tap the back of your phone. And now you can see I've loaded Kirby to both the memory slots there. Obviously you wouldn't want to do that. You'd have other amiibos that you can load, you would back up and you can have as many as you want up to 200 and for example I don't really need that many banks so I'm just going to reduce it down to um, maybe like six because at any given time I only use like six amiibos so I'm going to hit the back button here so um, what you want to do is set bank count and I'm going to reduce that down to six and I go okay and then it says tap to update the bank count. So now I should have six, actually go back. Actually it failed, so we're gonna do that again. So let's do that. Let's correct that. Six bank counts. And then tap to update. So now it should have six. So now there's six. So if you want to delete Let's say you don't want that there anymore. What you want to do is hold down on the character you want to delete and then you can say delete. And then you want to update. You want to tap the back of your phone and now it, it should be disappeared. So we're going to delete this one as well. Hold down the, the character and then delete. And then every time you want to update Every time you make a change, you have to tap the N2 Elite. And now if you look, it should be empty. So like I said, the bin files are stored on your Android device. So the backup of your, your this Kirby Amiibo is actually on the phone itself. And you can technically get bin files from sites online, but the purpose of this video is to show you how to back up your own Amiibo. So I'm not gonna go into details on where you can get bin files and stuff like that, because it is a bit on, you know, it's uh, it's not legal, I guess, if you don't own the Amiibo, it's, you're not legally um, allowed to load it. But if you do own the, let's say a Kirby, it's perfectly fine for you to back it up and then put it on this device. So to use the Amiibo, I'm gonna show you on Breath of the Wild. So just tap it on, on the right control stick and you'll see a bunch of stuff fall down. And if you wanna use, say, Another amiibo that's loaded on here, you hold down the, the button on the N2 Elite and then just tap it again. And that's the second amiibo. And then hold it down again and tap it again. That's the third amiibo, etc. Basically, you can toggle between the different amiibos by holding down the, the button that's on 
that's on the N2 Elite. So there you go. So I have about four or five Amiibos on here that I that I own that I've loaded here and um, I've already used some of them so they can't be used again. So I'm going to try another one. So yeah, so I've already used them all for the day. So that's how you, that's what you do with the N2 Elite. It's a really cool device that allows you to back up your Amiibos so you can just basically carry one poker size chip. Um, uh, amiibo with you instead of carrying like a, a dozen of these these characters and you know they're prone to damage and you can lose them etc and they're really hard to pack right so carrying one of these poker chip thingies they're actually really it's really easy and portable anyways that's how you back up your amiibos to your nfc compatible smartphone and then load it onto the n2 elite so that you can use it with your with your uh, nintendo switch or 3ds or wii u if you found this video useful comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.